Hey guys, Eric from Dunning Bros Gaming here, back with another episode of Kena Bridge of Spirits. In the last episode, we took down this spirit guardian. He was, he was kind of a run for our money. Well, sort of. Took us three tries. Not too bad. And today, we're going to see what the story is after we uh, save Tor Taro's spirit, because I don't know what it's going to be. So we're gonna find out together. This is where I fell from? I don't even know where I'm really going. Be honest with you. Could keep climbing right there though. Jump on over and up. I don't know if that's the same way where we came. Oh no, it's like the back way. We need to go to there, so let's get to this fast travel thing. Keep to the left. Okay. Oh, maybe we're gonna get some action here. We're just gonna follow. Where it tells us to go. Where do you want me to put that? Oh, over here somewhere. Right here, I bet. It's going over here somewhere. I can't see it. Okay, so we gotta run through. Let's just right over there. And now over here. Gee, it's a ways. I don't know what's happening. Ouch. I keep going. Where do we go? What? Oh wait, it comes back over this way. Right there. And now here. Which No way that just happened. Did this thing just really break on me, dude? I don't even know where we ran. Let's spin those torches again. Where we started. Right there. Jeez, please. Okay. I guess it's on a timer, so let's hurry a little bit. That one goes way over there. Boom. And then that takes us this way. To this one. Now down this way, that one, and then over here, this one, and here. Now we can do this. There, now it's not so dark. I need to start a timer. I found Taro's lantern. He must have lost it searching for the children. Bring the relics to the fallen tree. It's time to help Taro find peace. I'm pretty sure they've just kind of gone without saying it. I'm pretty sure he's dead. And so now I have to go there. Okay, now let's stay on this path. Well, let's maybe explore just a quick second. No hat. I feel like we went this way already, kinda, sorta. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Let's just keep it moving. I see, this is up here. Loop this around a little bit. 
Yeah, I wondered if that was gonna hurt. Honestly, we can probably just run there pretty fast. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's find a quick warp thing. Move, move, move. What should the question of today be? What's your favorite animal? Yeah, maybe we already asked that one, but maybe we have some different viewers. Okay, we're going to Tara's tree. Favorite animal? I'm a tiger guy. See my LSU stuff back there? LSU tigers. I was, I was a tiger in high school. Tigers all the way. Now that we're here... Yeah. Let's do this. Now that we have all three of the deals. Maybe we're bringing him back to life? Because he's dead. I mean, he's a spirit. We're just trying to, like, you know, rest in peace kind of thing. Put him to sleep for good, you know? if we were going to have to fight him. Hmm, maybe we will, but still. What? That's not what I'm... That's not a boss, is it? Oh. Well, it is a boss now. This looks like it might be tough. <laughs> and creepy. Scary. He's gonna be powerful, I already know. Okay, so kinda hangs in the air for a second and it's that right away. Sends that sword all the way around. I don't know if we can maybe shoot that. That doesn't seem to do anything. That hurt. Kind of aggressive attacker, a little bit. There we go. I did hit that thing, I think. Maybe I had something else. Jumps bad. Okay. Good. That's kind of a lot. 
Dang, man. We're gonna heal up again. It's all or nothing now. This is running at us. When he starts running, jump. Boom. Oh, no. How did I miss? Okay, we're gonna get him this time. It's all or We gotta risk it all. Try to get us again. We're gonna use our strategy. That hurt him a lot. Can you do it again? Good. Now just keep dodging. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Let's go. A <sighs> couple extra hits for good measure. That's gonna be our, our better video, guys. I don't know what we do now. I really don't. Oh. Use the rots on him. Man, my heart's pumping. That was a hard one. Hopefully, we saved Taro. I think that's him. I do, of course, want to explore really fast because you just never know what's going to be around here. Man, he was tough. I won't even lie to you guys. Probably shouldn't have taken me that long, but... Anyway. There he is. We saved him. The sickness that took our parents was spreading through the village. Spirits of the forest, walk with our people. Guide them on their journey to the mountain shrine. Food was running low. Everyone was scared. I never felt so helpless. Saya wanted to stay, but I thought we could go to Rusu for help. I was sure he would know what to do. But something was not right in the woods. I had never seen Rusu so worried. He sent us back to the village. And I knew we were alone. I was all that Benny and Saya had left. I had to protect them. The graphics in this game just wow me every time. Real good. Happened the next morning.
the explosion from the mountain shrine covered the land in darkness. for days. Dang. I searched everywhere for them. I was their older brother. I was supposed to protect them. Wait, so the little kids died? You know what I'm saying? I'm so confused. It makes sense if the little kids were dead, I guess, though, because they teleport everywhere. I never see them running. Even now, it's hard to forgive myself. Taro, the children know how much you care for them. What happened in the village wasn't your fault. You will always be their older brother, and they still need you. I'm so confused. Maybe they're all dead and now they can all rest. Let's see if they disappear. I'm sorry, Kina. We can't take you to the mountain shrine. It's okay. You have to mm. go now. The darkness got them all. So we have Taro, which is all good. He's gonna rest. It sounds like we're still gonna go to the mountain shrine, though. the mask shrine to honor Taro. Oh, I can get more health here too, which is nice. Do that real quick. We needed it. We needed that before the fight. Okay, now I guess. Let's see. So we go there. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, we uncovered like a decent part of the map here, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of room here. That's good. We can keep going. I'm going to teleport, teleport back to the main area though. What if I do this? I feel like I should get rots for that fight. No? No new rots? Maybe not. Nothing, huh? Is there any new ways I can go? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already been all over there. Let's just go back to the village and we'll call that a day. A lot of story there. A lot of fighting that boss over and over. For sure. Teleport there. Whew. 
what a great game. I'm glad it's not over. Um, yeah, but we're going to end here. In the next episode, we will see what else there is to do. We saved Taro. We still have to go to the mountain shrine. So that was just like one big side quest that we uncovered over here. I feel like there's still some map over here to uncover. Maybe not, though. Might just be how the map looks. What's crazy is how many rots are in the village. And cursed chests, meditation spots, all that. But the village must be big. Forgotten forest, we've, we haven't even gotten everything in there. Taro's tree, four rots there. Man, I might have to go off camera and find a lot of these. If I can. Be honest with you guys. Might do. Might be something I do. Just it's gonna take up a lot of time on the uh, on the videos if I go through and like actually try to look for these. You guys will be bored. So maybe I'll do that off camera. We'll go story <clears throat> mostly in the next episode. I promise you that green bubble will still be there in the next episode. That's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's save again. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, thanks for watching. Eric signing out. Peace.